So here we are at the Bilmas of Buchan, we're about 20 miles north of Aberdeen uh, in the northeast of Scotland and we're going to use this video today to have a look at how these formations happened. So we've got our arch, our stack and our stump and the rest of the video is going to look at how this stump has formed over a period of time using different coastal erosional processes. First up we have a coastline which is layers of hard and soft rock. When it's sitting at right angles to the sea, it's called a discordant coastline. And the waves batted against the coastline and they rode away at the softer rock faster. Through processes of hydraulic action, where the water forces air into cracks and creates many explosions. Attrition, where eroded rocks are impacting each other in the waves and break down smaller. Abrasion, where the rock and sediment in the waves are hurled at the cliff face, causing a rubbing abrasive action. And finally, corrosion. This is a chemical breakdown of rocks due to the acidity of seawater. When the soft rock has been eroded backwards, it starts to get protection from the headland and erosional rates slow down. This leaves sheltered bays and beaches, which happen because of de deposition. Moving on, we now look at the effects that the waves have on the exposed headland, and these suffer the full impacts of hydraulic action and abrasion. Initial faults or weaknesses in the cliff create cracks. As erosion continues to happen, these cracks form wider to produce sea caves. Eventually, as hydraulic action continues its work, it will break right through the headland and this creates an arch. Remember that this happens from both sides at the same time. The arch is now exposed and erosion will continue to occur on both sides of the arch and the roof. Eventually, the roof becomes very thin and will collapse due to its weight under gravity. What is now left is a freestanding rock pillar known as a stack. It's still fully exposed to the waves and this stack will continue to be eroded away at the base eventually collapsing into the sea to leave behind a stump of rocks. These rocks too will eventually be eroded away over the course of time. This basic diagram is an easy way to show the passage of time and the stages which headland goes through to form a stump. So this is how our stump, Cairn na Hilt, has formed at the Bulls of Buchan. Now, our in-class answer the exam style question. With the aid of a diagram, explain the formation of a coastal stump. There is a model answer in the comments below. Check how you got on and good luck.